Every year, high school students from across all of LA City come together to battle it out for the honor of winning the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power Regional Science Bowl trophy and a trip to the National Science Bowl in Washington, D.C. This year, the LADWP is celebrating its 25th anniversary of hosting the Los Angeles Regional Science Bowl. The National Science Bowl started in 1991, with regional competitions all over the country, including Northern California. But sadly, Los Angeles was not included in those first two years. There was no LA Regional until 1993. Uh, the department along with Edison Gas Company, some of the smaller cities and JPL were approached by the Department of Energy's Western Era Power Administration out of their Sacramento office and they wanted to try to make sure that they would they had covered Los Angeles with a regional competition. But knowing that Los Angeles Unified School District had a strong presence in the academic decathlon, Walter Zeisel, manager of education outreach for the Department of Water and Power, took on the fight to bring the Science Bowl to the city of Los Angeles. So I felt that we had a, probably enough students around the city that if they participate in Science Bowl, they might be somewhat successful given the history of, of decathlon. And so I approached our uh, division head that was in charge of conservation, since he had the connection with the Western Air Power Administration, and asked them if we could go in to host our own regional, basically covering the city, and management agreed. The only issue was the Department of Energy policies required a local office or contracted lab to sponsor any new regional competitions. That is where the Energy Technology and Engineering Center, or ETEC, just outside of Simi Valley, stepped in. And so the first year in 1993 uh, was held at ETEC, and we had, at that point, um, 16 high schools and 16 teams. Thanks to a successful first year and some staff changes at ETEC, a decision was made to bring the Los Angeles Science Bowl to 111 North Hope Street, the Department of Water and Power's downtown headquarters. Management was okay with it, but then I had to get volunteers, so I approached the president of the Power Engineers Club, and uh, they, he agreed, and the club agreed to help serve as the volunteers. So the first year um, that was held at uh, JFP, the headquarters, was in 1994. In the beginning years, it wasn't all on Walter's shoulders. He had lots of help from two other LADWP staffers, who to this day still work closely with him to put on the event every year. One is George Rafael, who was a mechanical engineer, now is the director of customer service. Uh, he's been the longtime chair of the volunteer committee and he was involved. And then Tim Hemming, who was the um, manager of the chemistry lab, um, he, was, he was actively involved from the very first year as well. The competition those first years was great, but it took a few years for an LADWP regional winner to go on to challenge the best of the best in Washington, D.C. and bring home a national title. The, th the, th the uh, third year, 1995, Van, Van Nuys High School won the region and went on to capture the national title. But one win was not good enough for Los Angeles. Uh, the next two years, in 96-97, Venice won the region and the national title, uh, so that we had three national winners in a row between 95 and 97, and then North Hollywood won another one in 2001 as far as national titles. Thanks to the hard work of Walter, George, Tim, and the rest of the staff and volunteers from the LADWP, Los Angeles became a region to watch out for in the years ahead. To me, that's one of the, one of the, uh, one of my, I think, accomplishments in my career that I'm 
I'm most proud of is the, the foresight to be able to see that we should have our, our own region. And part of that is because of the success of the, of the LA Unified District at the uh, uh, Academic Decathlon. I mean, the Academic Decathlon, I believe they've been involved something like 35 years, and I think during that time they've won more than half the national titles and, 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 state, and state titles. And we have some of the same schools that are in Academic Decathlon, a lot of them are also in Science Bowl too. In the early days, the LADWP Science Bowl required about 40 to 50 dedicated and devoted volunteers to run smoothly. Now, the volunteers needed every year number over 100. Well, frankly, we would have a very challenging time trying to not only manage the Science Bowl, but to be able to run the competition without the volunteers. And they, they're an essential part of the program, so much so that to me, the priority has been working and maintaining the work of the volunteers, even more so than the sponsors, because you can give less prizes, but you can't really hold um, the competition um, around between two teams. Um, in this case, we have 18 separate rooms going in the round robin at one time, and you can't, you can't run the competition without the volunteers. It's impossible. Many of the volunteers at this year's event have been with the Science Bowl for years. The first year I didn't know what I was getting into um, and then you just kind of fall in love with it when you see the students and you realize that what you're doing here is for the benefit of them and the community. It, it, it draws you to want to come back and we have great volunteers, uh, great staff that helps, great students, so you, you just want to come back every year. Uh, I'm Sean Mera. I'm an alumni of the competition. I competed here in 08, 09, and 10, um, and excited to be back as the moderator for the final round. The one thing I would say to the people putting Science Bowl together is thank you. Thank you so much. You made, you changed my life. You've changed so many people's lives. It's really just an amazing experience. What you do, it means so much to the kids and so much to this competition. And this competition is something that they're going to have for the rest of their life. So it's really, your time is greatly appreciated. I really do thank all the people that uh, put this all together because they are actively helping kids enjoy just knowing. Thank you to all the volunteers because we could not do Science Bowl in any way, shape, or form without you. As with every year before, all of the volunteers and staff involved with the production of the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power Regional Science Bowl are excited to see where the 25th anniversary competition is going to lead us. It looks like this year's competition is going to be pretty intense. Coming off a nail-biting final between North Hollywood A team and their own B team last year, the question on everyone's mind is, can North Hollywood keep up their momentum? Or is the Sherman Oaks Center for Enriched Studies, or SOSIS, going to give them a run for their money? Just before this year's competition, we had a chance to talk with the new captain of the SOSIS A team to share with us how things went down for his team. We were, we were honestly just shocked. We were, we were praying that we'd get on stage. We didn't know if we were actually going to make it or not. I mean, we practiced a lot and we tried really hard, but when you're, when you're in a city, with so many bright kids, you never know. You never know. So we think we did really well. Um, it, it, I'm correct. Um, we haven't done that well since 2012. So it was quite exciting to, uh, to get back to that one. We're a bit fortunate because our team didn't really change that much. Our team is the same core. We, we had um, three juniors and one senior last year as our A team. And, and you know, our, the, the captain left, but it's still the three of us you know, we call ourselves the Three Musketeers because um, we've been in it for three years together now. Um, so in terms of losing stuff, yes, we lost our best buzzer, but I think um, in this past year, we've more than compensated for that. We might even be a better team, I think so. We have found that all of the teams generally practice for this competition the same way. Buzzing, studying, quizzing, team bonding, and buzzing some more. Like everything else in life, though, many of the players have their favorite parts of the practices. Uh, we practice every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for about two hours until five o'clock. And then our, my favorite part is 
when we all don't get a question and then we all spend a long time on that one question and at the end someone actually figures it out and it's really fun when we do that. I got such a cliche answer. My favorite part of practice has got to be the buzzing. It's, it's, it's so fun. I think the best part about that is in the process of looking for the answer, there's usually very loud arguments. On, I, think I'm, I think this is it. And then like, oh no, you have a different opinion. But when we finally figure it out, that, that sense of satisfaction and like pride in yourself, you figure something out. I think that's really, that's really nice feeling. Of course, I love studying my subject. I love biology. I just, I love all of Science Bowl, but buzzing is just a feeling like no other. Like the adrenaline associated with it, it's just amazing. It's incredible and I love it. <laughs> my favorite parts of practice would be getting a chance to hang out with my teammates and studying and diversing myself in topics such as physics, which isn't really my strong suit, and getting to hear from Malia about stuff that she's done in physics, and Alina bringing up weird biology facts that I probably didn't want to know. In an average adult human body, there are 206 bones, but we are born with around 402. Uh, favorite part of practice for me is definitely playing alongside my teammates. Um, I started in middle school, and so I've known these guys for five, six, seven years, some of them even actually longer. Um, so definitely just being alongside my friends for two, three hours doing science bowl, doing something I enjoy is, is the best part. So an average red blood cell travels around the body 25,000 times. As the years go by, all of the teams face the reality that one or two players may move on due to graduation. And new players are gonna take their place. Um, so the A team lost to one of our players, he graduated, uh, he was a very, very strong player so it was a bit of a hit, but our other three that stayed from last year have only grown last year, so I'm very confident in their abilities. You no, know, we had a, a team full of juniors, and now they're all seniors. You know, they're excited. You know, we finished second two years ago, uh, and we're better now, and uh, you know, again, as seniors, they want to give their best. Murad Avyakulov, team captain from Los Angeles Center for Enriched Studies, or LASIS, and currently a senior, is one of those players. Well, I, given that it's my senior year, I, I definitely want to end on the best note that I can. Um, even more so for my coach, he's been with us for a long time. And so I think it'd be, it'd be good if we went out, not only for ourselves, but for him, and uh, as a way to pay homage to what he's done for us. One of the newest players to the Laces team is actually a sophomore. So I started in eighth grade and I was A team for middle school and I didn't do it last year but I started again. I mean I did some of the summer practices but I didn't do it during the year and I started again this year. I was taking AV classes and stuff so you know that adjustment I really needed. I'm pretty close uh, with the younger set. Um, older set, I mean, this is sort of my first time like interacting with them, so not as much, but I respect all of them and I think they genuinely respect me. But as we hear from many of the competitors, Science Bowl is not all about the competition. It's also about the relationships you make along the way. Yes. Bonding with my teammates, that's something I really enjoy. Um, we, every time we went to, when we went to competition, when we came home from scrimmage, we brought back inside jokes. Um, every time we do a round, where it's, there's an inside joke that we come back to school, that we shout down the hallways and only we know, and I feel like that's something we'll have for a while. These guys are, we've put in a lot of time together, working towards a common goal, and that, that brings us together as a unit. And, um, and even beyond Science Bowl, you know, we, we like to crack jokes, we like to hang out at lunch, uh, we like to spend time with each other, and I think that's really a testament to how close we've gotten. I think one of the best parts of friendship we've created is that we hear, we're really comfortable with each other, so we'll share all our like some secrets and stuff that you usually wouldn't tell like just anyone. But we know that we trust them enough that they're gonna keep our secrets and they can help us when we need it to help. The team, just being in a team, is really nice. I've done sports before. I've done, I've done so many different group activities, and really, science bowl is the best one I've done. It's it's a, it's like a family, and we all get to kind of bond with each other and. It's really nice and, you know, of course the competitive aspect is great, but that's always the best part. Well, I like, I like practicing and stuff, but I mean, I feel like the community is like the best part. Like, I mean, we have like 
somebody will always make like a funny pun or something and it will like brighten my day up. So yeah, I feel like the people almost more than the science itself is what makes it special. If you are a student in the city of Los Angeles and you love making new friends, learning new subjects, and challenging yourself mentally, then you need to consider the Los Angeles Regional Science Bowl. They get to study things that they wouldn't normally get to in class. They get to find areas of science that they maybe wouldn't have been exposed to until they were in college and now they might develop passions. Enjoy it. Definitely find parts of Science Bowl that you really like to do. Um, but really there's no substitute for the work. You, what you put in is what you're going to get out. Do it, not because it's easy, but because it's probably the hardest thing that you're going to do in high school. And because it will show you a lot of what you're made of, and what you're good at, and what you want to do. Check out LADWP.com slash Science Bowl for more information and to find out how to volunteer. We look forward to seeing you here at next year's Los Angeles Department of Water and Power Regional Science Bowl competition. While all of the teams did a great job this year, only one team can be called the regional champs. And this year, that title has gone to the North Hollywood's A team. So another Science Bowl goes down in the history books. Everyone is looking forward to watching as North Hollywood heads to the Nationals to represent our great city as the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power Regional Champions. Check back after the Nationals to get a full recap on how the final competition went down here.